Hey, Internet. So you might notice that my voice is more clear this time around. I recently purchased a mic, so I'll be able to apply my voice to more videos in the future. Now, how cool is that? Pretty cool. Um, so prior I was recording my audio via my phone and then transferring it onto my computer. So you can imagine the hassle that made me less apt to do it. Now that I can just record and be done with it, I don't think I'll have that much of an issue anymore. Aside from that fact, I am a little shy and I'm still incredibly nervous about making my voice known to the public. I'm also worried about saying the wrong thing, etc, etc, so on and so forth. You've probably heard this a thousand times from other hard folks, but I suppose there's comfort in knowing that you're not the only one who suffers from that anxiety. At least I like to think there's comfort in that. So, the character I'm drawing here is my OC, Angensa. She's a gold dragon, and she works as a guard. Sorta. <laughs> She's more of a catalyst in terms of uh, where she's stationed. Uh, the place where she resides, or where she was sleeping, is a chamber that holds artifacts that aren't quite god status, but are still Still too dangerous to be floating about in the ether. I haven't settled on when she shows up on Cosmic Joke, but I have her entire plot figured out. Um, half and half, she is based off my friend Anna, but the concept and story behind her came from a dream I had, so I merged the two because the dragon that I saw in the dream reminded me a lot of Anna, so I was like, hey. Um, <laughs> plus, I already had designed Ingenza uh, back in middle school. <laughs> Hardly even the same character, but definitely similar beats because I really like to keep the homage of who I base characters off of. I, I base characters off of people all the time because, you know, the people in my life are so important to me. I really wanted to maintain the appearance of her or make it very obvious of who this character is based off of. Like I said, I really like to keep that. I really like to keep that as a spirit of that character because if you change a character from who it's based off of to the point where it's you know, not even the same person, then it's no longer homage. It's, it, they're their own thing. You can't even say that they're comparable. And I, I, I've never really liked that. I've, of how I wrote that comic, a lot of their stories are their own thing. Each character kind of has their own episode, but it's part of an overarching story and there's tie-ins to various other plot points. It'll make sense in time, I suppose. Because of this, many characters end up being one-shots who are primary starters for their plots. I, uh, I still have an overarching main cast of characters that interact with said folks, though. Reoccurring characters that maintain prevalence in the story, like Kenny or Twy or Sirius. Kenny's kind of the uh, surrogate because uh, a lot of the stories that I've been writing down are based off of dreams, so I just thought, like, I'd just take the perspective that I had while I had the dream. Honestly, it'll make sense once the comic is uh, out. Well, out of hiatus, I should say, which is happening later this month. I am guaranteeing that because I've been working my like, butt off trying to finish pages. I am determined to get this thing done. Um, so I've always liked anthropomorphic characters. Not only can you come up with some really unique and fun designs when you're merging two species, or more than that. I mean, I've seen a hodgepodge and they look fantastic. Uh, but it really allows you to play with some really interesting thought experiments. You're able to explore different species behaviors outside of those of Homo sapiens. And, um, even merge several species habits with one another to make something entirely new. I think that's really spiffy, honestly. It, I love that stuff. Um, I love- I also love how innocent the prospect of making yourself your favorite critter is. There's just something so endearing about that. 
I mean, most kids' first OCs are usually anthros, and that also happens to be their favorite animal. Um, including my own. That was my first character. Uh, they were a persona. <laughs> but they were like a weird cat alien thing. Honestly, that's a topic for another video entirely. Uh, so I'll leave that to that. Um, but with that being said, I don't really have much else to say now. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you can. I really honestly appreciate your support. I mean, I appreciate that you're even listening to me ramble right now. It's great. Um, but until next time, bye!